For me, I'm driven by two main philosophies. Know more today about the world than I knew yesterday and lessen the suffering of others. You'd be surprised how far that gets you. The good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. We are all connected to each other biologically, to the earth chemically, to the rest of the universe atomically. We spend the first year of a child's life teaching it to walk and talk and the rest of its life to shut up and sit down. There's something wrong there, curious that we spend more time congratulating people who have succeeded than encouraging people who have not. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. The more I learn about the universe, the less convinced I am that there's any sort of benevolent force that has anything to do with it at all. There is no shame in not knowing. The problem arises when irrational thought and attendant behavior fill the vacuum left by ignorance. There's as many atoms in a single molecule of your DNA as there are stars in the typical galaxy. We are, each of us, a little universe. I would request that my body in death be buried, not cremated, so that the energy content contained within it gets returned to the earth so that flora and fauna can dine upon it, just as I have dined upon flora and fauna during my lifetime. Knowing how to think empowers you far beyond those who know only what to think. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. My view is that if your philosophy is not unsettled daily, then you are blind to all the universe has to offer. We are stardust brought to life, then empowered by the universe to figure itself out, and we have only just begun. Not only do we live among the stars, the stars live within us. I want to put on the table, not why 85% of the members of the National Academy of Sciences reject God, I want to know why 15% of the National Academy don't. God is an ever-receding pocket of scientific ignorance. Kids are never the problem. They are born scientists. The problem is always the adults. They beat the curiosity out of kids. They outnumber kids. They vote. They wield resources. That's why my public focus is primarily adults. I'm convinced that the act of thinking logically cannot possibly be natural to the human mind. If it were, then mathematics would be everybody's easiest course at school, and our species would not have taken several millennia to figure out the scientific method. I know that the molecules in my body are traceable to phenomena in the cosmos. That makes me want to grab people on the street and say, have you heard this? After all, what nobler thought can one cherish than that the universe lives within us all? When scientifically investigating the natural world, the only thing worse than a blind believer is a seeing denier. The power and beauty of physical laws is that they apply everywhere, whether or not you choose to believe in them. In other words, after the laws of physics, everything else is opinion. We do not simply live in this universe. The universe lives within us. Ignorance is a virus. Once it starts spreading, it can only be cured by reason. For the sake of humanity, we must be that cure. Where ignorance lurks, so too do the frontiers of discovery and imagination. So you're made of detritus from exploded stars. Get over it, or better yet, celebrate it. After all, what nobler thought can one cherish than that the universe lives within us all? Down there between our legs, it's like an entertainment complex in the middle of a sewage system. Who designed that? People who believe they are ignorant of nothing, have neither looked for nor stumbled upon. The boundary between what is known and unknown in the universe. One of the best things for a woman to hear is that she is sexy.